and I really wanted to stress the importance of mind. I've just been watching Yes Man with uh, Jim Carrey <laughs> and it is the most amazing film. It really is because he he says no to everything. He's a little loans man. He just says no. He doesn't get raised, doesn't get promotion. He's just no, no, no. His wife leaves him. It's just a no, 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 no attitude. And he goes to this seminar and it's a yes man. He's got to say yes to everything now. And it starts out really brilliantly. And a good example is right after he walks out of this event and this um, uh, homeless person, sorry, I'm losing my words, homeless person will um, is asking him for a lift. And so he has to say yes. And he's asking for a lift. And then he says, um, can I use your phone? Yes. And then, um, you know, when he's at the top, when he drives him off home at the top of this park hill, um, he then has to, um, he says, well, you know, can I have some, you know, one or two dollars? And the guy sees this wad load of dollars. He goes, oh, well, can I have your wad load of dollars? And so Jim Carrey says, yes. And lo and behold, he runs out of petrol, obviously. And as he's walking down back to get some petrol with his jerry can you know he's he's cursing because of course you know how silly of him he hasn't got any phone to call the pickup to come pick him out or any you know and he's just cursing along but it's when he's filling up his jerry can that he meets the love of his life and he's not ready for that but that does happen and he seizes the moment anyway and the whole film continues like this and obviously being jim carrey it's so funny but at the end of the day how often does that happen in your life? And the minute he says no in the film, it all goes wrong. You know, he gets a parking ticket, the car gets towed away, um, he gets um, crashes in the car. I mean, it, it really is just, you know, and he's convinced it's because he said no. Um, so whatever you decide will pre invariably um, decide on your uh, the outcomes or the opportunity you happen to see. But these opportunities are there whether you see them or not and it's when you decide or when you choose to see them that they really come through and it is so amazing i've just seen a, um, a video from a friend of mine scott and you know he's he's become such a brilliant marketer and he's using all these adverts that are coming at him um from a marketing point of view i don't i don't have a telly the world cup i know it's a world cup because i have no internet connection it's just this big i'm at the end of the line etc 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 and i i can assure you at the end of the match you know my internet will just go vroomf so i know that you know people are watching it on the internet or whatever but that really is he just saw that as a huge opportunity and he's going for it and he's getting everyone involved and I think that's so brilliant and I'm so happy to be with, around these people who just know everything and, well, no, we don't know everything, I'm not saying that, but we do tend to be looking for opportunities as opposed to just being a no man. I was a no man for, you know, so many years that I'm now a yes man and I'm so happy. So if you're in that predicament and you're being like a no man or woman, whatever, try and say yes to the next five things that present themselves whether you can or you can't just say yes you'll find a way and see how that changes the vibrational frequencies that you are around or accustomed to and and let's get you going now you hit the like of my video please i want to comment and i thank you so much for watching